company phones. Most offices have them. Cisco Multi-Platform, or MPP phones, provide connectivity with voice and sometimes video. You depend on them working the minute you need them, whether calling someone in a different department, another state, or even across the world. It's tough to conduct business without them. Your customers count on being able to stay in contact. But what do you do when an MPP phone doesn't work? Time to do some troubleshooting. You've solved problems in your network before. It's time to take on this challenge too. There are some options to try that may solve your phone issues. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll explain some troubleshooting tips for Cisco MPP phones next. Consider a scenario where your phone was working fine and then the line or extension stopped working as indicated by the red check mark in this network diagram. In such instances, the first place to start is to make sure your phone is getting an IP address and is connected to the network. You can do this by hitting the settings button, scroll down to status, select network status, and then IPv4 status. As you can see, the IP address is listed here. But if this field is blank, make sure the ethernet cable is plugged in correctly in the back of the phone. Check to see that the cable is snug and plugged into the right port. For this example, the cable is connected to the LAN port on the phone. Many times, the cable could have been plugged into the wrong spot or not plugged in at all. It's important to note that without the IP address, the phone will not be connected to the network, which connects to your phone service. If you're not getting an IP address, even after verifying the connection, the next step is to isolate the issue. You can investigate whether it's the phone hardware or a network problem, such as a bad cable or a DHCP issue. To do this, move the phone to a known working location in your network where a device, preferably a phone, is already plugged in and working. Replace it with the phone that's having problems. Once connected, check for an IP address. If you see one, then you know that it's probably a cable issue, or maybe the spot where it was plugged in does not have a network connection anymore. You may also run into a situation where your phone is not working, but it shows that it has an IP address. What do you do in this situation? We make sure that the IP address is reachable from a computer on the same network. To do that, go ahead and open a Windows command prompt and ping the IP address. In this example, there's a response, which is great. Next, to make sure that you can access the web interface of the device, open a web browser, type the IP address in the address bar, and press enter. If you can do this, that's helpful, because if you're going to need to contact either your call controller or Cisco technical support, they will want to be able to access the web interface of your phone. On the other hand, if you did not get a response on the ping test, one possibility is that your computer may be on another VLAN in the network. If this is true, you'll want to contact your network administrator. Once you're logged in to the web interface of your phone, scroll down to see if your phone extension is registered. As you can see in this example, the phone extension is not registered. If this is the case, you should contact your call controller to find out why your phone is not registered. Since configurations are set by the call controller, it would be the best option to contact for support and configuration issues. Nice work troubleshooting. Hopefully you've found the problem and you're set. And if you haven't, you've already ruled out several possible issues. You have verified your ethernet connection. You isolated the issue to determine if it's a network or a hardware issue. You found out the IP address and tested if it's reachable. And you were also able to log into the web interface of the device using the IP address. If you have any other questions, contact your third-party call control provider. For Cisco technical support, see the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.